Hey, uh, did you hear about the Spider-Man movie? Oh, what are you doing? Well, why, what, why'd you change? Oh, so it's like that, huh? How'd you get over there? What are you doing? Buying tickets? Yeah, I see. That's a that's a nice wallpaper. If you don't come on, man, freaking weirdo. I'm not trying to get copyright, no, sir. Got the got the Spider-Man hoodie on and man's got the venom. We didn't even coordinate. Look under. Look yeah. Under ass huh? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Um. I don't know what to think. That dope. was um. <laughs> I, it was. Yeah. Better than I expected. It's a lot to process. And. Uh, I don't even know. I don't like, know where to start. Yeah. You ever felt like so much of everything that it was great, but I'm then you also to couldn't to like it. show it? <laughs> That's kind of how I look right now. Because in that theater, I screamed like a little girl. I sure did. A lot of freedom. Multiple times. Multiple times. Yeah, hold on. I just, I just got to get home so I can talk about this. Now, I got some things to say. Uh, you know, that should do. I I just I got I got some things I want to get off my chest here on just how great this 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 movie is. It's it's really really a fantastic movie. Like. Just just my initial thoughts right out of the gate. Um, I'm, mind, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. My mind is blown. I kind of expected this film to be like over bloated. And, and it wasn't. And then you're like, oh well, not everything can work, right? But then it did. It does. It's like, what the, what the hell? How'd you pull this off, huh? Who who wrote this? I got I gotta check back on who wrote. Hold on, let me let me look that up real quick. Eric Somers and Chris McKenna. Listen, you two deserve a shout out, okay? The amount of what you fit in here is exceptional, and not 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 just like for nostalgia's sake, right? Like. There, there, there's a lot of nostalgia in here for sure, but even just talking about a, a Spider-Man story, you hit the notes just right there. Um, you know what? Let me, let me just explain why you got what you got just right. So, I already said it before, but you know, spoilers. Um, for this movie, like... Every single time 
you guys kind of like hint at something or or um you know we're, we're talking about like a character's arc especially with the villains um dude you you nail you nail it like straight out of the park it's kind of ridiculous because you don't really dive into it too deeply you know the these characters they literally have movies where they are the center focus so if you want to know their whole arc you can go back and watch those right but going into this movie it's like well we'll give you a subtle nod to it so that you understand the general basis of of these characters but then we'll just keep you moving as much as possible they really keep that pace just nice knit tight and it just oh. all i'm saying is like I, I i got i gotta see it tomorrow and yeah also the amount of emotion you get just right in this movie is also really good like yeah, I teared up. I teared up a few times. I'll admit it. And there was also a few times like I was like, "Whoa, that was epic." I think from about the twenty-minute mark forward, I had like a grin, smile from just ear to ear, just like this. I, I had like a my my mask on in the theater, but I was sitting there like this. Just, Yeah, I look like a goober, but you know what? It, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Spider-Man was on the screen. I was like five again, and it was just wonderful. It was just wonderful. Like, I, I know. I've, I've been praising a whole bunch of stuff on this channel lately, but like, man, you know, they're, they're, they're pumping out some good stuff, man. They're pumping out some good stuff. And when I came to, when I came to this, I was like, this, this could go many different ways, but I, I feel like they made a bullet list of everything that uh, people have kind of made criticism about or talked about and was just like okay this is what we're gonna make all in our movie fit it into a screenplay and you know what they kind of pulled it off they kind of pulled it off but um hmm let's see oh another thing the fight scenes in this movie the best I've ever seen in any Spider-Man film, ever, and I'll and I and I'll hold I'll hold to that. I know people refer to like Spider-Man Two, specifically Two Point One for the fight scenes, and um, Amazing Spider-Man Two, and also the first Amazing Spider-Man. I think is probably like the the three films people usually refer back to when it comes to like you know full-blown fighting and action, and respectfully so. There's good action in those films, absolutely. But like here, it was visceral. It was like, okay, while these past films, we had them fighting like, um, I don't know. There, there's good combat, like uh, some of the older Batman films. You come over here and it's like, we hired a choreographer from IP Man and gave him web shooters. And was like, boom, make Spider-Man become IP Man with web shooters and then he did and I was like whoa <sighs> that's a lot that's a lot that's crazy man that's that's just insane it was baller it was epic and and not not to just be like over dramatic right like I'm usually pretty critical about movies and about the way movies go about things, but when it comes to some of this, man, it was chef's kiss. The whole movie isn't like completely perfect, like 100%, but I could see how I got the 95% Rotten Tomato score. I don't really trust in the Rotten Tomato scores, but like I, I could, I could agree with that. 95% is a pretty, it's, it's a pretty, pretty close estimate right there. You could either go high or low depending on your just overall feeling with the film. But I feel like they really took note of where they felt they should go with Spider-Man specifically. And then they were like, all right, who is Spider-Man? And then they just like zeroed in on that. And then the rest of it was just fan service over top. This is like basically the high school DxD of Spider-Man films. Fan service, fan service fan service it's it's everywhere so um yeah if you're you know if you're into fan service there you go you you 
you you get what you want. Um, I will definitely say that. Well, not all of it. Not all of it. Um, there's there's some interesting um, creative decisions that they put in there, and I was like, okay, I saw what you did with that, and um, I'm I'm trying like so hard not to give spoilers, even though I said like a spoiler warning, because I just I don't know. I don't really like telling people like exactly what goes down but just real quick spoiler warning once again um instead of uncle ben they go for Ame, right and i was like i understand why but part of me still wonders about like the 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 initials on his suitcase in far from home and they're they're uncle ben's initials and like so does uncle ben exist in the mcu what's happening there what's not happening there and then I remembered that they are doing Spider-Man freshman year, which is like a little animated uh, short series um, where they're doing um, basically Peter's freshman year and they're going to go over the MCU Spider-Man's origin and that. But it's going to be an animated form. And yeah, I don't know if Tom Holland's going to be a part of it or anything like that. I would assume maybe or maybe they might get the guy who did the voice for uh, Spider-Man and what if it, it could be either or honestly, who knows? Let's talk about some Easter eggs, okay? Because I, you know, it, like I said, it's a very fan y film. Um, fa fan service Yeah. It's got a lot of fan service. Um, more specifically, I don't know if this is like the hyper analyzer in me, but early on in the film, I noticed Steve Ditko's name was on a truck. It's spray painted on the side of a truck. It's kind of blatant. It's also not blatant, especially if you don't know who Steve Ditko is, but I just saw it and I was like ah Easter egg so that was kind of one that just like popped out to me but that's that's not the type of Easter egg I want to talk about I want to talk about the fact that Captain America shield is literally just covering right over uh, Lady Liberty's torch and I don't know if this is a reference to uh, the fact that Chris Evans was both Captain America and the human torch I'm, I'm definitely reaching here, but I don't know. It was just something I thought about. I was like, uh, I don't know. Maybe they did it. Maybe they didn't. I, I, I don't I don't know. Don't really care. The Easter eggs that really were like fundamental Easter eggs that are made the movie like an even better experience were, were some of the bits where like <clears throat> they're really subtle and you have to have really paid attention to the past films. So, like, in specifically in the, like, big climactic fight, um, there's a part where Electro and, and Andrew kind of fight again, and it, it's the, kind of the same fight over, over again, um, like, specifically the way he's being, like, held in the air, and it's funny, because, like, in my head, I'm like, it's literally just the same shot where, like, from the same angle the same shot and he's posed just the exact same way where he's like stuck in the air like this basically and i was like oh i i caught that you know and i don't i don't think anybody else was like whoa but i definitely was um not that this was also an easter egg but um rent some of you get it some of you don't but literally i about clapped when i at the end when i saw peter got an apartment i was like yeah yeah i'm clapping people are like What's wrong with you, dude? He just has an apartment. I'm like, yeah, I'm happy for him, my man. Man's got an apartment. And then, oh man, probably probably one of my favorite bits. Favorite bits. Um, this is not an Easter egg. I'm I'm kind of out of Easter eggs, but just just a, a part of the movie that I absolutely loved. Back to the fight scenes. Um the penthouse Willem Dafoe um <sighs> chilling chilling absolutely chilling I was like whoa I was like I felt like I'm reading a Spider-Man comic book most people don't actually read these books but like for those of us who have you know you know the Green Goblin is oftentimes just kind of like Peter's or Spider-Man's version of Joker basically but with a lot of black air force one energy and just like 
just straight up psychotic. Like, the man is insane. Like, and there's not much that I can see him not doing. Especially if you know some of the stuff that was cut out of canon from Green Goblin. And for those of you who don't know, yes, I am referring to um, his affair with Gwen Stacy. That's a whole other thing. I would say go look it up because I'm, I'm not going to cover that because that's a whole other story and that would be a tangent. But when I say that during the fight he became Green Goblin out of the comic books it was one to one perfect I was like the way he's fighting him and, and the method in which he's doing it and like just how crazy imagine Joker but like on steroids and like you can't beat him down like okay yeah Joker sure you could you could beat him up break his bones I didn't, imagine when you can't break his bones no, this dude's just going out here throwing bombs at everybody. And then you try to get down to punch him. He throws you through some walls, bro. Man. Man, it's, I, I see why Peter said it wasn't his responsibility, bro. He's not trying to deal with the Air Force One energy. But which is strictly why I came with my Tims to the theater. And I was going to grab my Tims just a second there, but they're way over there feel like getting up so oh well it is tim season tim tim season gotta represent not sponsored by tim's sadly but oh well if you want to go see the movie go see the movie try your best not to be spoiled well actually if you watch this then you have been spoiled this is just my opinion you know spoilers for this entire video okay this is just me going over spider-man as a whole don't don't just i don't know I guess this is to people who have already watched it. And if you've already watched it, go watch it again. Go watch it again. I, you know, I, I, go watch it again. Man, I wish I could right now. Cause man, the way he do was whoopty wop whooping him through that penthouse, man. Whew. Black Air Force One energy on sight. On sight. I hope I get to see more of that in my Spider-Man. That's all I'm saying. It's the whoever choreographed those fights, he he is he is signed on for the for the future Spider-Man films. He, he's required, all right? Because after what I saw, I'm gonna need the same guy back. And that's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna just leave it there. Try and keep the rest of it concise. Try not to make this video too too long. And uh, yeah, I will try to make a more in-depth video on the character, but um for now we're just gonna leave it at this you know just specifically about this movie and more just my initial thoughts about the film um you know if you enjoyed this video go ahead and leave a like comment down below what was your favorite part of the film or actually don't do that for wait but if you spoil but the video the whole video contains spoil. I don't know. Okay. If you put any comments down below, make sure you label it that it has spoilers so that people don't run into spoilers. Even though I've also said in this video that there have been spoilers. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Let, let's, let's, let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. Um, it's, it's three in the morning. I'm rambling and I'm tired and I'm also just purely amazed, amazed, uh, marveled spectacularly wondered non-stop action I'm trying to find as many spider-man adjectives as i can to throw on in here and i have no idea what i'm doing because i'm still just rambling okay listen you know what like comment subscribe leave anything you want to say down below this movie was amazing good night